Hi, I'm Ben Marriott, and in this series, I'm going to be breaking down how to create these complex looking background animations using a few simple techniques, all in After Effects. In this video, we'll be tackling this geometric curving effect. And this project file is also available to download for free down in the description so you can take a deeper dive. So we're starting in a new comp that's two seconds long. It's at 4K resolution, so we can do a bit of zooming without losing any quality. And I've just dragged in an image of a color palette here. Now I've used this as a reference for color picking in our previous tutorials in this series, but here I'm gonna use this as the base for the whole animation. So let's use it to fill up this whole comp with color. And if we toggle our transparency, we can see that that black area is all transparent. So let's start by duplicating this layer with Control or Command D. And on the layer underneath, I'm gonna adjust its scale by pressing S on our keyboard and then just dragging that up until it fills the very top and bottom of our comp. Now we've just got this gap in the middle. So I'm gonna duplicate that bottom layer again and drag the very bottom one just up slightly. So it fills in all of that gap. There it is all filled. So let's pre-comp all of that by selecting those layers and pressing Control or Command, Shift and C on our keyboard. And let's call that color background. And now we're gonna build that peeling into a round object effect. So let's do that on a duplicate of this comp, again with Control or Command D to duplicate that. And let's add the effect polar coordinates. Now what polar coordinates does is turn something that is rectangular into a circle or something circular into a rectangle. So we want our type of conversion to be rectangular to polar. And when we drag up our interpolation value, we can see what's happening. And it gets very strange and warped and then becomes a circular version of that rectangle. So at 100%, let's keyframe that at the very end of our comp. And then at the very start, let's drag our playhead and turn that down to zero. And I want to press U on our keyboard to bring up those keyframes so we can see it goes from zero, warps into a circle all the way to 100 there. But I want this to look like it's warping from the very middle of this comp. So I'm just going to shift this layer up until it's at the middle. Let's turn on our title action safe grid so we can line that up exactly. There we are. And when we play that back, it has this nice curving up from the edges, which I think is a really nice effect but we need to do that on the bottom as well. And that's really easy. I'm gonna select this comp and duplicate it again with Control or Command D, bring up its rotation with R, and then rotate it by 180 degrees. So now it is flipped over and I'm just gonna drag that to the very bottom, aligning that up with the middle again. And now I've got two flipped versions of our polar coordinates animation, but I do want another layer of this effect. So to do that, I'm gonna duplicate one of these layers. Let's do the one on the bottom. And I'm gonna color that a different color. Let's color that red so it's a bit more obvious which layer we're looking at. And instead of that going from zero to 100% on our polar coordinates, I'm gonna take that from zero at the start. And then at the end, let's drag this down until it's somewhere in the middle here, maybe 30%, that seems good. So now we play it back, there are two versions sort of going at different speeds and one doesn't quite circle all the way up. And I think this is looking good, but we see so much of this pink and yellow in here. And I kind of want to swap that out so we can see more of the cyan and the purple. And the way to do that would be by flipping it or rotating it. But when we flip it or rotate it, we get the other side of our animation, which is kind of flat because our polar coordinates is kind of curling up from the other side. So let's undo that. And what I really need to do is rotate it before we apply the polar coordinates. And the way to get around that is to add the effect transform. And that gives us all our regular transform properties that we know and love, our scale, position, anchor point, rotation. But now we can apply these as effects. And that also means that we can drag these above our polar coordinates and apply some effects before it is warped into that circle. So up here, we can change the rotation to 180 degrees. And now it's flipped over where those colors are, but it's still warping from the polar coordinates in the same area that we wanted from before. There, that's much better. We've got a lot more color variation and the warping looks nice. And I'm just gonna repeat that process for our circle on top as well. There, that's looking much better. Now, one thing this does need is a lot more movement. And the best place to add that is within our pre-comp. And we're gonna try something really simple. We're gonna do some really simple animation in that pre-comp, but once it's all warped and animating in this comp, it is gonna look a lot more complicated. So let's go into our color background layer. And the simplest thing we can do is just add a position animation. So I'm gonna duplicate this top color palette here, drag it all the way over to the left, keyframe its position at the very start of the comp. And at the end of the comp, I'm going to drag it over to the right there. So we just get a really simple animation of it moving from left to right. Can't get simpler than that. To add a bit more variation, I'm going to duplicate that layer again. I'm going to scale that down to maybe 150 and then animate this one moving from the right over to the left. So when we play that back, we just have two sliding color palettes here. But if we go back up to our previous comp, 
And if we play it back here in our top comp, there we are. We've added a lot of complexity with barely any animation at all. And I think this looks really cool. And here's what it looks like in our very main main comp with our head animation. Check out the other videos in this playlist if you want to learn how to animate the other background effects in this animation.